Salami, Adobe has confirmed that the Halloween update is coming into the game. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys some different Halloween maps, some different Halloween pets, and everything in Halloween that's coming into Adopt Me this Halloween. I don't know how many times I said Halloween in the last 10 seconds. Halloween, 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 Halloween. So guys, right now, we're in a fake Adopt Me game, but guys, look at this. It is literally Adopt Me in the Halloween update, but most of the map is completely identical to last year's Halloween. And every Halloween, what they do is they change the floor to like this brownie orange color. They change all the trees to being orange, yellow, and very, very dark red. And last year, they added the hot springs, but they always add a Halloween area to the game. And always they add a vehicle. Maybe this could be the vehicle, the rusty car. <laughs> But guys, this person has definitely made the map a little bit creepy. Look, instead of limo for sale and speedboat for sale, it says guns for sale and knife for sale. It's a little bit scary, guys. Look, go up to them and stuff. And if you go up to the knife, you actually get the knife. It's a little bit scary, guys. And then also the pet shop has become the gun shop, meaning, what, am I gonna have a Starburst gun? Since all my pets are being turned into guns? It was the pet shop and now it's the gun shop. Oh my gosh. What? Well, imagine if we had a Starburst gun and a Jerry gun. That would not be cool. Well, might be a little bit cool, but still guys, that would not be cool. We wouldn't be able to see Starburst or Jerry again. Then also over here, we have a helicopter, which is a little bit weird, but guys, Adopt Me is actually adding helicopters very, very soon to Adopt Me, which is really sick. But here we have a helicopter, which is kind of weird. And we also have a little hovering cat and a little hovering dog in the aviators and headset. Well, guys, in the fossil isle update last year when the fossil egg was added into the game, we actually had this little area. Let me just get underneath here. Come on, this is this is gonna be difficult, isn't it? Please don't make this difficult for me. I just wanna get out of this trapped area. But the helicopter used to just be normally there and the dog and the cat used to be in the helicopter, but now the helicopter is crash landing, which is not good. <laughs> but Brett Salami, this was Adopt Me's Halloween area last year. So there were jack-o'-lanterns everywhere. So they were just normal pumpkins, but they got turned into jack-o'-lanterns, guys. So this is the whole Halloween area and it's so sick. You get to walk through all of here and Adopt Me actually transfers formed it so there was a massive shop here where we could go in and buy all the different Halloween stuff which was really lit. It's not here right now but I think Adopt Me will add it again once the Halloween comes back into the game. And then if we head down this path we have the massive area right here and this was like the Halloween place. But guys there are actually two different mini games. One mini game was the pumpkin smash mini game where we got to go around and there were little hovering jack-o'-lanterns everywhere and we had to walk into them, smash them and then we will get a specific amount of points and then at the end of the game, the game was like two minutes long but at the end of the game you would have a specific amount of points and then those points would turn into candy corn which was actually the currency for the Halloween event. So if you wanted to buy anything from the Halloween shop, you had to have a ton of candy corn. So that was one way to get it. The second way to get the candy corn was to go over here and do the ghost mini game. So every 15 minutes, I thought we would have a mini game. One of them was the pumpkin smash, but the other one was the ghost one, guys. And this ghost one, you had like a Ghostbusters backpack and you had to go and just ghost bust every single one of the ghosts and all the little ghost bunnies would pop out of the floor and then come chasing after you and they were like yee-yee halfway across the map. And then the very, very end, there was a boss one where you and your friends had to team up to kill it. Oh my gosh, I love that mini game, guys. That was so much fun. And then the third way to get it was with buying it for Robux. But guys, I wonder what Halloween stuff Adopt Me is going to put into the game this year. Like, what mini games could there be? You have to go around to different people's houses and trick or treat. Like, you have to knock on their door and you're like, ding dong, trick or treat. And the person either gets to trick you and they could, like, oh my gosh, imagine if they'd like dump slime on your head or they had to take out one of your pets in your inventory. Oh my gosh, and you either got tricked or you got treated and somebody gave you candy corn. Of course, some of the other things that they've added, like the uh, helicopter, yeah, that's gonna be taken out of the game. <laughs> but guys, most of the stuff that is in this game, like, look at it right now, guys. The game will look very, very similar to this in the 2021 Halloween update. You know what, let's take a look at something a little bit nicer. Let's take a look at some Adopt Me pets. But guys, we're in the game and to start off with, we have the demon cat, which is a black cat with red eyes and red shadow dragon wings. And guys, that just looks so awesome. It's got like little spikes on top. Okay, speaking of dragons, 
over here, we have the pumpkin dragon, guys, which is literally a shadow dragon. But I guess the devil cat stole its wings because uh, this one doesn't have any wings. I think it will have games if it actually is put into the game. But it's the pumpkin dragon is so sick. Next, we have a griffin that's just had a couple of color changes and it's called the phoenix. But a dummy's already added a phoenix. This was made like before the phoenix was put into the game. Next up, we have the uni Cerberus, which is an evil unicorn with three heads because it's like the Cerberus, but it's a unicorn. Let me know in the comments below. Would the uni Cerberus be a Cerberus with one head or a unicorn with three heads? But guys, I still think that, that looks pretty awesome. But next up over here, we have the white jackalope, which looks so sick. It's actually um, the bunny thing that Adopt Me added quite a few years ago to the game. And it was clothing that you could wear. And it would like sit on your shoulder. But they've just put some antlers on it, which is cute. Next, we have the ghost fury, guys, which look, it's got an invisible body. It's like glass, invisible feet. But look, it's completely white in its face. This just looks so awesome. The ghost fury. Oh my gosh. So it looks like the frost fury. It will kind of move around like the frost fury as well. But I feel like if I feed it a hundred grow potions, it would just be massive. Like probably this size. If I fed it 100 grow potions, that'll be lit. <laughs> but guys, we also have the ghost dragon, which is a white back dragon. And it looks so sick, guys. It's got like translucent wings and stuff, and it's all white and gray. I think it looks so awesome. And we also have this vampire saber tooth, guys, which is like white and red. Oh my gosh, I just love these pets so much. Like it's the pets that we know and love and then made spooky. <laughs> guys, let me show you some of the best pets from the older Halloween update. So last year, a me added the Cerberus, which is actually pretty sick, guys. And it's actually still available like right now. You can go and buy the Cerberus literally whenever you want. It's a premium pet that's still in the game. So I could go into the shop right now, literally, and buy a hundred of these, except it wouldn't be very smart because they're 500 Robux. <laughs> They've also got the Skelly Rex, which is pretty sick, guys. Oh my gosh, look at this. I stocked up on these Skelly Rexes. And look at them. They're legendary and they are so sick. I love how, like, they glow and stuff. It's epic. Next, we have the ghost bunnies that they added. These are so lit. And guys, we've got one that's translucent. I fed it a translucent team. And look, guys, oh my gosh, we just go around and it's pretty much invisible. Normally, they aren't invisible. Like, normally, they're just like that. But since I fed mine a translucent tea potion, you can actually see through it like a real ghost. Next, we have the bats, which are pretty awesome. So we've got pumpkin right here. Oh my gosh, so tiny. <laughs> that's really cute. And then there's also the albino bats that are pretty lit. Look guys, look at this, it's so cute. And the bats actually came from the bat boxes and I got 80 of these, but let's go, let's open one more guys. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, come on, please be something awesome. Come on, please, please, please. Hey, we got an albino bat, woohoo! That's sick, oh my gosh. In the last video I opened one and we also got an albino bat, so maybe, maybe just one more, one more. I know they're super legendary guys, but let's just open one more and see what we get, come on. Oh, looks like my luck ran out, guys. Looks like I was using my luck too much. It ran out. I just got a normal bat. But guys, in 2019, Adopt Me added the Shadow Dragon. <laughs> guys, it is so sick. Look, there's the Shadow Dragon. And everybody loves this pet. And I love it as well. Come on, guys. It's the Shadow Dragon. One of the most legendary pets in the whole entire game. It was a thousand Robux. And guys, usually with these big updates, Adopt Me does add pets for a thousand Robux. But they are super rare. Like Frosty, our Frost Fury. He was a thousand Robux last year. Also, there were a ton of different toys and vehicles that were put into the game. Like the rib cage carriage. We've got five of these guys. And look at this. It's literally a rib cage that you could just drive around. A rib cage on wheels. Then for toys, we've also got the Star and Moon propellers. <laughs> Propeller, guys. Oh my gosh. That's actually pretty sick. This is one of my favorite propellers. But there, nah, I can't say propeller. There we go. I said it properly. Propel. I'm bad. I'm, I'm just so bad at saying propeller. <laughs> but then, guys, for the 2019 update, they also added the evil unicorn, which is so lit, guys. Ours is massive. It's like the same height as us. <laughs> Look, guys, the evil unicorn, so lit and so epic in neon. And then also, they added the zombie buffalo. Guys, this is a little bit ugly. You know, people do say that this is super ugly. But, guys, I think... 
that it's definitely ugly. It's a pretty scary pet. <laughs> then they also have the bat dragons, but guys, sadly, I don't have one of those. No. <laughs> so yeah, guys, those are all the different pets, but sadly, I don't have a bat dragon. But this is what they look like. I think everybody knows what a bat dragon looks like. And in Mega Neon, they are so lit. And evil unicorns in Mega Neon are so lit as well. But let's take a look at some different pets that could come into the game. Right now, we're on a video from Striker180X. Shout out to them. But guys, here is the bone dragon, guys. That is so lit. It's a shadow dragon, but completely made out of bones. It's like got no body at all. Just a skeleton. <laughs> Next, we have the ultra rare inferno dragon, guys. It is so lit. It's like a dragon covered in lava. Next, we have the blood dragon, guys, which is like a deep red shadow dragon. And it is so awesome. Woohoo! Okay, next up we have the Skelly Zombie Dragon. So this is like a skeleton of a dragon, but it's also a zombie. So it's like zombified and all green, but it's also a skeleton, which I think is really awesome. It's like a zombie buffalo mixed with a Skelly Rex mixed with a Shadow Dragon. <laughs> Next we have the Robo Bat, and I just love this guy so so much. I love how it's like orange and stuff, just like the actual neon bats are. Like here we've got pumpkin, and pumpkin just looks so awesome with the orange. And then this guy's also orange, and this guy's orange. Oh, and he's sleeping on his head. <laughs> but guys, that's actually really cool. The robot bat, I would love that so much. It will go perfectly with the Robo Dog. Next we have Godzilla, which looks so much cooler than the actual Godzilla. Let's be honest, it's like all black, and then with like electricity going down, it's like spines on its back. That's so cool. Okay. I really, really like that Godzilla. What's next though, guys? The common spider. It's the spider. Every time I say spider in a video, I'm going to say it like spider. <laughs> okay. There's a little spider. Next, we have the alien dog that has three eyes. We also got the rare dark ghost, which looks like a Pokemon. I swear that that is a Pokemon. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you know what Pokemon that is? Because I swear that looks identical to a Pokemon that I know. But guys, if you're excited for Adopt Me's Halloween update in 2021, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Have the best day ever. 